You mean. Stop that. You mean. You're mean. Stop that. Cozy. Tonight we've got something really easy, like super easy. First step, turmeric, red onion, cauliflower. If you haven't got one of these, you're missing out. I want them smaller than that. I want them like about, like that. I don't actually know what you're cooking because you no, can't say yeah. <laughs> secret. Red onion. So you got to do it in two parts. Oh, a mouthful of So you got to do it in two parts. <laughs> and now we're going to put olive oil all over it. There we go. Stop that. Turmeric. Stop that. So that goes into the oven at 190 for about 25, 30 minutes. I'll see you on the flip side. <laughs> mm. I will tell you what I'm cooking. So it's a roasted cauliflower and red onion, pearl couscous with zug and flat lamb. Would it be pronounced shu? Z H O U G. What does it say? <laughs> the word is typically pronounced like zug. Yeah. But with a strong back of the throat imitation in the first part. Zug. That's what I'm fucking calling it. That's what it is. Well, to make said zug, I've got coriander, parsley a chilli, garlic, red wine vinegar, and cumin. A little bit of salt and pepper, and a bit of water when we get to it. Chilli. Yes, what up? In that goes. Woo! <laughs> Half a teaspoon of cumin. There we are, tablespoon of that. Just give it some moisture. I'll put some salt and pepper in there. By the way, our tap water is filtered. I've got a thing. You just splattered your whole entire roof with zoog. <laughs> It's really strong. Holy moly. <coughs> yeah, you want to pour that over an entire salad. Yep. Someone's real pissed her off tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Zoog is done. So the cauliflower Look at that. That does smell really good. Now these are drunken lamb legs. Boneless, skinless, just a bit marinated. I put them on the Weber. One side for 10 minutes, flip it over, eight minutes on the other. Beautiful. Bye. Bye. And I'm gonna thinly slice it. I'm just gonna let it rest. Next is the couscous part of it. We're doing the big couscouses, the big pearly ones. I absolutely love this stuff. What I'm gonna do first is toast these little babies. You can't walk away from pine nuts. Okay, come on guys. Oh, 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 oh. Next, spring onions in there. Woo. And my new garlic crusher. Then the couscous, the whole lot. So the idea is with this couscous, which is a bit different from the little couscous, is that you toast it first and some liquid. And then I'm just gonna leave the lid on. 
And I am going to let that simmer for a bit. See that couscous? <laughs> <laughs> I'll add the lemon juice, that'll get the... It might stick a little. We put our raisins and our dates in. Look at that. Our pine nuts. Oh, it's gonna be so colorful. Yum. Really, that is a meal in itself, isn't it? Stir it all through. I might just serve it in this. What do you think? So, 